So tracing from the Ibex picture to get a design element to colour in for demonstration. Here I'm transferring it. I tried transferring it to the blue, didn't work, so I stuck with the cream paper. Um, just very quickly inking in uh, underlying structure to do a demo of marker and colour pencil use. Unfortunately, I didn't centre the camera very well for this, so it's probably one that I will delete later along and replace. Um, here I'm putting in the shoulder blade. And tick, 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 boom, magically, two of them. Um, the paper here I'm using is a 200 GSM light cardstock in tinted colours, and the markers are Copics, which are a, a nice translucent alcohol-based marker, which make a nice, flat, smooth colour and you can build up layers with uh, lighter colours underneath, gradually uh, darkening them up into the shadows, as I'm doing here with the brown on the horns. Um, they're not cheap, but they're good for laying in quick, sketchy, um, flat washes of, uh, washes of colour. I had a set of them for several years before I actually got in the habit of using them, and now I, I use them quite often, as you'll notice from my feeds. So a few final touches, and then I'm on to colour pencil. Unfortunately, the shadow of the pencil box has obscured the view somewhat. Um, here I'm using Derwent pencils and building up with layers of red and indigo. Indigo is one of my favourite colours for using in shadows. It's really rich. The red on the face has uh, three different reds and an orange and a little bit of yellow. This is just a really quick demonstration of what you can do with a colouring book page. It doesn't have to be flat colours. You can build up using gradients and shading, overlapping different colours that are quite different contrast-wise, like the purple and yellow on the horns, uh, rather than the flat colours that you generally see on the covers of the colouring book. This is just a quick demonstration of what you can do with colouring. If people are interested, I'm happy to do demonstrations of specific techniques, uh, gradients, layering, <coughs> mixing different colours like red, yellow and blue in order to get black. Uh, drop me a line, ask, and I'll see what I can put together for you. As I get closer to finishing this seri alphabetical series, I'll start working on the cover and I'll use that as a demonstration piece for the various techniques that I know using colour pencils to create pretty awesome effects. And as I do so, I'll record it and I'll pop it up here for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed this and have a good evening or morning or whatever the time is, wherever it is you are while you're watching this.